Welcome back to a new video. Ladies and gents, thank you for tuning in. We got a special one today. I got my dad with me and he wants to catch some walleye. That is what is gonna happen today on this beautiful Saturday. He's just parking the truck from launching the boats. We got the rig back in action today. He hasn't been in this boat for a couple of years. And a short story, this was my grandpa's boat that he bought brand new in 1996. And we bought it off of him a couple of years ago. Completely redid the interior inside and now we get to use it here in Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario, which is awesome. We got it all tricked out with some electronics. Um, but yeah, it is a, it's a beautiful day today. Absolutely no wind. And if you've been here before, you know that I cannot stand a windy day. And I think it's just because I don't have a big enough boat yet. One day, one day we'll get there, but I hate wind, but I do like catching fish. I do like spending time with my dad. And that is exactly what today's episode is gonna be about. I'll show you guys kind of what we're using, how we're setting up, what we're gonna do to, uh, target these feisty walleyes, anywhere between six to 10 feet of water. So we're gonna start off casting some swim baits, maybe uh, jigging a few humps with some plastics, but no live bait today, all artificial. We'll show you guys what we're using after we get to our first spot, but I'm gonna pick my dad up at the dock and have a great day. If you guys are new here, please subscribe and enjoy the video. All right, we've arrived at the first spot. No idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try. Got a couple islands. I'll show you guys kind of here on the Lake Master map, what I'm looking for. You got two islands, one here, and then we got a nice reef that comes up in between to like 20-ish feet. And we will cast more so around these couple areas there. So only one way to find out, and that's to get a line in the water and hopefully catch some fish. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're just kind of getting to our first spot right now. I'm gonna start it off by throwing a mare, a little three inch in the shad color. Great bait for searching for some fish. I got my dad rigged up with a smeltinator and a jerk from Crush City. We're coming up just to some shallower water. Dad, check your drag too. Okay, went right on that one. Oh, there we go. See if it's a walleye or a bass. Oh, walleye. Oh, that's gonna eat. Nice. That is gonna eat. First one. First one on the board. Switched up to a uh, a jerk and a smeltinator. And that's like, uh, well, we gotta be precise. So I'll grab the measuring board and we'll figure that one out. But I think that's gonna eat. All right, meat mission so far, success. Yep. There we go. Eat. Yep. Here we go. Come on. Oh my gosh, you're chasing it. Nice. Oh, another nice walleye. That'll eat. Beautiful. Little school of them there. Ah, another good one. 20 feet that way. Okay. Cast it behind him. This, oh yeah, it's, oh, it's saw it all the way down. Here we go. Eat. Eat. Looks like a better one. Not a crazy amount better, but a little better. And eat. Wow. Two of them. Oh, other guy's sliding in. Crush it. Wow, what the frick? Oh my gosh. Yeah, he bit it right at the bottom there. Get back down. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, that's a good walleye. That's a beauty. That might be even a little too big to keep, but it choked that little smeltinator there in the plastic. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good start to the morning. That is 17. A little too big, unfortunately, but what a fish. We will take that. I saw those ones, like those ones were off bottom a bit though. Oh yeah, they were 
way up over there, I think, the last time I saw him. Water temps about 65 degrees, so the bass are definitely spawned out probably up along beds. You might go bass fishing later, but once again, today is target is, is walleye. Would be nice to get a pretty big one too. Um, that was the biggest so far, just a nice little 17, but too big to keep, so no problem. We will just catch some more. Oh, there's one over there, 40 feet. Gonna swim this one over. Oh yes. Nice. Crushed it. Oh nice. Wanna grab the net? That's a nice we had a nice Walter. <laughs> I'm gonna come to the left side. Just keep an eye on the camera for like. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a beauty. I think I got a pretty good hook set, so. Nice. Nice. Come on. Nice. Oh, nice. Awesome. Cool. That is uh, going to be too big to keep. Yeah. There it is. Awesome. Saw it on scope and uh, Cast it out 20 feet past it, and by once it got over top, it absolutely crushed it. Rod almost came out of the hand, so gonna grab a quick picture with that one and release it. Just snapped a couple pictures, and we were gonna release it, but we didn't even measure it yet, so I'm gonna do that fast, and then release this fish home. One more look at it. Absolute beauty walleye, and that is 21 and a half inches, and that thing is going back. Beautiful, nice, good fish, good fight. Off it goes to the depths below. During that whole commotion when we were releasing my fish, my dad's rod was going off and uh, I guess I technically caught that one, but it was kind of wrapped in the transducer. But hey, it's his first fish, that's perfect. Awesome, that is gonna be a keeper. So that is three fish in the live well. Caught a couple other ones, smaller one, a bigger one. We're gonna move to a different spot, but we're gonna give this a little longer. They're definitely up shallow. We're fishing kind of this mid lake hump, once again, in like 25 feet. But now we've been catching all these in like 10 feet of water, kind of like I said in the morning where I just didn't take my own advice, I guess. So gonna go in shallow. Dad is using the Ned rig with the Ned BLT from Crush City and the Green Pumpkin. It's wanting he caught fish on it. It's a fish catcher. Yeah, I did. Let's go back and do her. <laughs> Pass me a little uh, stick bait green thing. That you were using? No, just you can keep that on. Keep that. That's a bad. That's a bad spot to lose a very expensive rod, father. Yeah, that's one. That one. That one. Green stick bait. Thank you. Oh my gosh! All right there. Come on. One of you guys have got to eat this thing. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna let it sit on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they liked that. They liked that. Oh, went for it. That's a better fish. Eat it, please. Ate it. Another nice walleye. You can feel it. You can feel that slower feel of a fish. Oh yes. Oh yes. No. It's gonna be a good eater though. I think it should just make the cut. Boat flipping walleye on a Saturday. Oh, popped off. Pooched it. Pooched it. Dang it, that was a good eater too. Oh I should. Dang it. How did I pooch that? I thought the thing was hooked good. Maybe next time I'll grab the net. Oh yeah, there's another one coming, don't worry. Another one coming, you gonna eat it?
Yep. Boom. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. So I don't want to what happened with the last boat flip didn't go so well. Come on. Get in there. Yep. Yep, buddy. I know. Look at that. Tough to beat that. Cool. 17 and a half incher on the Ned BLT. Catches everything. What a fish. Overboard she goes. Nice. I'm literally dragging the Ned BLT over the exact same piece of structure right now. It's like 40 feet in front of us and just a bunch of rock. And just pulling it through, you can just see fish start to emerge from around the boulders. So it's been producing pretty good. Yeah, it's try a different spot. You kind of whack the walls off them here. So try a different spot. We kind of whack the walls off them here. This, 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 this. Okay, we're gonna try another spot, replicate the same thing, except get my data fish. See it? It's suspended. Literally right on top of it. On. If this is a suspended walleye, oh my god, it is. Oh my god, did I get the net? Here we go. Yep. 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 Big and big and. Jeez. Another big walleye. Big, big, big walleye. 